Hi, I'm Dr. Kohlberg with Andrew Sports Medicine. Today we're going to be performing a left middle finger trigger finger release under ultrasound guidance. We're going to be using the no core needle, which is a needle that has an 18 gauge blade at the tip. So we've prepped and cleaned the skin with betadine and alcohol, and we're using ultrasound with sterile gel to visualize the trigger finger. For the aesthetic, we're going to use three milliliters of lidocaine with epinephrine. The epinephrine helps with basic constriction to minimize the bleeding in the area. As long as you inject into the soft tissue and you stay away from the vascular bundle, you will not have problems with any ischemia from the medication. We're using a 25 gauge hypodermic needle. And so we're gonna see here in the screen, we'll start seeing the needle show up. So you can see the needle right there in the screen. And so I'm going to inject in the soft tissue and we're going to hydrodissect that soft tissue, separating the soft tissue from the A1 pulley. And then we're gonna get into the tendon sheath under the A1 pulley, and we'll fill up that tendon sheath with more anesthetic, trying to provide the patient as much anesthesia as possible so it minimizes any discomfort with this procedure. This is a very safe procedure that we perform in clinic and does not require any general anesthesia or sedation. We do it with local anesthetic injection into the soft tissue in the skin. So once full anesthesia is achieved, we're gonna use this no core needle, which has an 18 gauge blade on the tip. And we're gonna go ahead and do a puncture wound in the skin. It's a tiny little puncture. And then we're gonna go ahead and advance it down towards that A1 pulley. So you can see it in the screen as it's going toward the A1 pulley. And so we're gonna make some passes in the superficial aspect as we're making our incision through that A1 pulley. Once we complete our release, we will use a sterile gauze and we're going to check range of motion making sure that that finger can fully flex and extend with no catching in it. We recommend that we avoid heavy gripping or heavy lifting for two weeks after the procedure, and then the patient can resume their activities as tolerated. Thank you for watching.